Hey everyone, Andre here for another episode of Rain Training. This week we're gonna focus on rotational power. So rotational power is something extremely important for our hockey players. Uh, it's something that they use, especially when they shoot, whether it's taking a wrist shot or a slap shot, they need to be able to rotate through their body. And obviously the more power they can produce, the hard, harder they're gonna be able to shoot, it makes it harder for the goalie to actually be able to pick up on the puck. Uh, so this is a way we can progress working on that rotational power. So first one here is gonna be called a half kneeling position. So if Paul's gonna get down on one knee, his leg closest to the wall is gonna be up and he's gonna be holding a medicine ball. Uh, when doing these, you wanna make sure the medicine ball you're using is one that doesn't bounce too much. If it is a bouncy one, just make sure you're farther away from the wall so it doesn't fly back and hit you. So starting with the ball here, Paul is gonna bring the ball to his outside hip and then he's gonna rotate across his body and throw it at the wall. So every time you're doing this exercise, you wanna throw it as hard as possible. It's all about intent with this one. Good, rotate across and throw. Awesome, so whenever we're doing something like this, reps should be pretty low, somewhere around three to six on each side. Uh, once you get pretty good at that, we can end up doing it standing. So we can get rid of a pad, same concept here, but now feet are shoulder width apart, he's gonna load that outside hip again, so all his weight starts on that back leg, rotates through onto the front leg, right at the wall. Good, load, come through. Nice, and when you're doing this here, Paul, think about pushing your hips back as you load and come through. Perfect, same thing. We wanna make sure we're doing this on both sides of our body, three to six reps on each. And then last one we're gonna do here, I'm actually gonna pass the ball to Paulo. So now he has to be able to absorb the pass and throw. Same with when you're receiving a pass and turning it into a shot. So this is how we can make it a little bit more specific. I'm gonna aim right at that back hip for Paulo. He catches and rips. Good, try to get it a little quicker. Catch and rep. That's it, one more here. Catch and rep. Perfect. Same thing, reps are low, focus on each side, uh, but this is a good way that you can produce more power rotationally, which means it should come over more into your shooting. Make sure you're doing this near the beginning of your workout uh, so you're not fatigued when you're actually doing it.